Hi, welcome to the, the latest in the series of YouTube videos about Irish ancestors, the site and the people. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about crooks and nannies, no sorry, nooks and crannies of the Irish ancestors site, bits and pieces that you might not be aware of and that I had kind of forgotten about. So um, things that can be useful. Let's go to the site now. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is in the browse section, free, in the county by county listings. One of the things that I did here, this is a sort of a byproduct of um, doing the surnames, surname variants, connecting them all to each other. Um, it, I kind of got up close and personal with Irish surnames in a way that I, very few people have to. <laughs> and it was, it was painful in some ways, but um, it was also very interesting, okay? One of the things that I became more and more conscious of is that Irish surnames can be very, very local. And I'm not talking about um, the, the obvious ones, you know, the Ryans in Tipperary, <clears throat> Doherty's in, in Donegal, um, McCarthy's in, in South Cork, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm talking about peculiar little surnames that are very, very localized indeed. So as I went along, I started to, to try and um, link those surnames together to the county that they come from. So for example, this is County Louth. Um, and this is a list of surnames. And you can see these are not standard Irish surnames, Macavat, McCrave, Kelly, Fedigan. And again, you, you can click on all of them, um, click on any of them and see, and there, there's County Louth, and there's the Fedigans, and by God, they're all, there's eight of them in Louth, three across, just across the border in Meath, and two just across the border down in Dublin. So it's very strongly um, from, uh, from that area. As, as the, the dictionary says, the sept originated around Clonus, but has been long identified with Louth. Um, so all of those, to a greater or lesser extent, this is not an exact science, um, are, are connected to a particular county. That can be useful. If you're dealing with a Murphy and the Murphy is married to a Fedigan, and you can be pretty sure there is a, a connection with County Louth. So you can, you can use these as um, location indicators. You can also use them if you come across unusual Irish surnames, for example, in the English census returns. Um, because people of the same area tended to stick together. If you have doggets and drum ghouls um, beside the people that you're trying to identify a location for, there's a good circumstantial evidence that they're from County Louth. Um, they, they, there are also, um, let me just say, I mean, they're, they're, this is not a complete listing of all the surnames associated with a particular county. For example, Hamel. You can see Hamel. There are lots of Hamels in County Louth there, but there's lots of them also in East Tyrone, Mid, Mid Armagh, up there in Antrim. So it's it's a, a it's strongly associated with Louth, but because it's associated with other other places as well, I haven't put it into that Louth listing. So that's the the um, just to draw your attention to one of the limitations of these things. Um, they they. One of the things it does as well, let me just pick uh, another county at more or less random, um, my own county, Roscommon. And these are Sir Carlos, Cuttle, Dockery, Finan, Grenham. You can see it there, Havigan, Hedigan, Hester, Igo. A lot of these names, when you look at them, are don't seem very Irish, put it like that. Carlos, Bly. But they are. They're, this is the, the, one of the lessons from looking at these things up close. A lot of them are anglicised versions of English ones. Um, a lot of them are um, just phonetic versions of, of Gaelic originals. So it, all the, 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 the joy of Irish surnames is there um, in these things. Um, the, why are there so many? I'm not quite sure. I think that the... the um, 
Surnames were adopted very early in Ireland in the, the, the 10th century, hereditary surnames. So we've been at it a lot longer. And we've, it's also, Ireland is, is an intensely, was, is, will continue to be an intensely tribal place. So people got a hereditary surname and they held on to it. And by God, the, the Finnerans are not the same as the Fenerans. And so, you know, um, with all the, the, um, the warnings about spelling um, attached. But anyway, they, they, if, you, if you're interested in a particular county, um, this is something to wander through at your leisure. As I say, um, they, they, the browse section is all free. That's one, one of the, um, the nooks I wanted to talk about. Another one is in the place names section. Uh, again, my pride and joy here is the, the, the wild card. So um, let's see, you want to find everywhere that starts with D. And so I was looking for something like Derry Lahan or Dura Lehan or, so there you go. We have all of those asterisks representing any sequences of letters. You click OK, and there you have every place in Ireland with a D, with, uh, you can see it up here, a D, any letter, an R, any letters, an L, any series of letters a G H, any series of letters an N, and followed by any series of letters. And you can see these all have D or um, L, G H, N. So they're they're all they all match that that. One of the reasons this is useful, particularly for overcoming accent um, deformations, because the accents live in the vowels. So take out the vowels and see what comes up. Um, so th that's something I've talked about already. This is something that might, you might not be um, as aware of. Click here for church or parish names. One of the peculiarities of the place names table in the database is that it, it, the, the, the column that you're searching, the place name, is not the same as the parish name. And there are plenty of parishes where the parish name is not actually a place in the parish itself. It's a separate name. So it, it can be difficult at times to identify a parish. Um, and this, clicking here, will do it. And you can see there's the only one that has a D, the, the R, the L, the G, H, and the N, and it's Desert Marn and Kilcronahan. And you can click on that and get its records and click there for place names. Again, this is all free. Um, and you have Desert Marn and Kilcronahan, and you can continue down the rabbit hole as far as you want to go. Um, that's, it, it, it's particularly useful if you're trying to identify a, a parish name and a variant parish name. Um, so it's, uh, it's the work of my, my collaborator and my son, Owen. Well done, Owen. Take a bow. Um, and it, it's not um, flagged as, as conspicuously as it could be, perhaps because he did it and I didn't. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I think I've got to leave it there. There's a, the, uh, one crook, one nook, and one cranny um, and that's your all for today so thank you thank you for for watching and happy hunting